So now for setting the tone, I would like again to recite this beautiful passage from Alice Bailey's book, Glamour, page 150, which I shortened slightly to bring us, to set the tone, yeah, to bring us into the right mindset. They come and stand within the midst of whirling forms, some of beauty rare and some of horror and despair, they stand. They look not here or there, but with their faces turned towards the light, they stand. Thus, through their minds, the pure light streams to dissipate the fogs. They come and rest. They cease their outer labors. Within their hearts is rest. They run not here and there, but constitute a point of peace and rest. From the heart at rest, a beam of dissipating force projects and blends with the shining light. They come and they observe. They own the eye of vision. Likewise, they own the right direction of the needed force. Through the eye of Buddhi comes the power to drive away the veiling, swirling glamours. They stand, they rest, and they observe. Such are their lives, and such the service that they render to the souls of men. Let us now together rise in our imagination above the earth. Imagine looking at our planet Earth from outer space. Looking also at its subtle aspects emotional and the mental fields around the physical globe. Notice the different con continents. each with its specific emanation, specific melody. And on each continent, the different nations, each with their specific note. Let us now allow ourselves to be drawn to the note of our own nation. Take a moment to get a sense of our nation as a living entity sounding its note. Notice its location 
its surroundings, the interaction with surrounding nations. And we let ourselves now be drawn further in, further into our nation, resonating with its note. Just get in touch with that part in us that feels the wish to cooperate with this note, to play our part. Our dedication to stand in this service. We imagine being drawn to a beautiful building, perhaps on a mountain or other significant, beautiful spot in our country. Gently allowing ourselves to be drawn into this building now, into a quiet and spacious room with a very special atmosphere. A place where the soul of the nation can descend to meet its outer expression. Let us take a moment to just settle into this atmosphere. Now in our mind's eye, let us visualize co-workers joining us in this work. Those that are already known, or if we don't know yet of any co-workers, imagine two others, maybe more, to join now in this special atmosphere drawn here by the same impulse. Imagine sitting in a circle with your co-workers, taking a moment to allow for all members of this little unit to sense each other, sensing each other's presence. Gently, the hearts start to connect subtle threads of high vibrational heart energy getting woven between the group members.
the subtle outlines of a group heart become perceptible. And now a finer thread begins to link the minds of the group members. Fine filaments, a lighted geometrical fabric is being woven. A telepathic field is forming very delicate. We take a moment to let it stabilize and synchronize. We notice a line of light that projects upwards from the head of each member connecting to each soul. Soul perhaps visible like a little ball of light above each one's head. And we imagine these balls of light now of all members approaching each other above the circle in the middle, forming one combined ball of light. The group soul. Take a moment to sense its vibration, its note. The soul light fills the space between and around the group members. We dedicate this group space to the work with our nation, sacred space. And now the group as a unit very respectfully reaches out now to align with the soul of the nation, the essence of our nation. We take a few minutes in silence for it.
Let us visualize now a blessing from the soul of the nation passing through its outer expression, through its mental, emotional and outer physical plane. Visualize this happening now in each nation. And let us visualize the new civilization being born through soul awakening. So let it be, and may we do our part. Let us slowly return to our daily focus. Perhaps taking another moment to make some notes. Mm -hmm. 